So since we started filming, a lot of people have been inquiring as to why we would do a story like this on a dog that is not a dog of the Retriever Rescue of Colorado. And my answer to this is that there's a special story here that I think a lot of people in the rescue community, if not all, can relate to. I just really felt like this story had an educational message to it. I mean, sure, it's just one of the million stories out there in America of people that have lost a pet, but this wasn't a case of a dog jumping a fence or a door being left open. Uh, this was a case of, uh, of a family who unfortunately just trusted the wrong person. Our film crew spent the day with the Richards family and we interviewed them. And it's been a year since Scout disappeared and, and there still seemed to be this unwavering compassion and determination that Scout was out there and that she was still alive and that they were going to find her. Yeah, thinking somebody has had to have seen her. When we went to Debec, Colorado to visit the Richards family and speak with them, uh, the minute you walked in the house you could just feel the love they had for their dogs, but you just couldn't ignore the fact that there felt like there was something missing. They shared fun stories with us and fond memories of Scout and showed us photos of her and quickly you realized that she was the missing piece. You know, this just wasn't about our rescue. This was about what people can do to find their dogs and what they can learn from other people who have lost their dogs. I'm Becky Carlson with the Retriever Rescue of Colorado. Join me this April for Rock's production release of Scouting the Nation. <laughs>